Alright folks, we are back, and we are about to go tell our mom that we're gonna basically leave her forever. We're never sleeping in our bed again. Sorry about that, but uh, it's the way of the road. Wow, wow, wow. Well now, isn't Sable just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. Glad someone bothered to tell me. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm heading out. Glad someone bothered to tell me off to Wedgehurst, are you? I sure am. Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. She hands us a little bit of air, <laughs> Thanks. What a great mom. Remember that Sabo will, ba will battle to the very end for you. Look at how tiny he is. I want to protect him with my life. So don't you go pushing the door, the poor deer too hard. I'm sorry I cannot read. Wow. And you, Sabo, look after my little Hayden. Come home to rest any time you need. After all, east or west, home is best. That is a fact. East or west, home is best. Alright, we left our Sabo there. But I'm assuming... Also, we got some new options. Hold up, we got a mystery gift. Is this going to be my quick balls? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, we're going to maybe get via internet? Hold up. We're just going to try this out real quick because I did uh, buy the digital copy of this game. Apparently, we're supposed to come with, uh, I think it's like 10 or 15 quick balls or something, which really is not much of an incentive to get the... <laughs> you're not connected to the internet. I guess we'll take the free quick balls if we can. If we can. Why not? Oh, hold up. Gigantamax Meowth gift? We're snagging that for sure. They're gonna give us the long boy right from the start. We got ourselves a little present, and out comes just a regular Meowth. Actually, it doesn't uh, doesn't get long until you Gigantamax or whatever. So that should be interesting to see. Go check your party. Uh, cool. Well, I guess we'll take a look at our Meowth here. I don't really know if I want to use this thing, but uh, I guess it's cool to have. Got ourselves. Meowth with pickup, fake out, which is actually kind of nice. Also comes with slash as well. This thing comes ready to go. It's serious nature. Came from an online present. Uh, so that's kind of cool. We got ourselves got ourselves a Meowth that we'll be able to freaking make large. So that should be fun. Anyway, continuing this way, we're going to head back essentially uh, the way that we went right from the start when there was that little meeting going on. I am so excited to see more of this game. It, it is so beautiful so far. No complaints. Here we go. It's quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Yeah, yeah, just as cocky as his brother. Guess I'll probably train up Score Bunny a bit by having a battle against other Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with a purple roof and the great red and white ball. Uh, so that's going to be a Pokemon Center. Uh, no, Pokemon Research Lab. JK. All right. Uh, so there's some grass here. Oh, hold up. These Wooloo just came out of nowhere. What's going on here? You wouldn't want to wake the sweet sleeping Wooloo, right? Better take the long way around. I could totally squeeze right past him. I want to cuddle one of them, though. Alright. Whoa, hold up. That thing was just flying around. So we got ourselves a Rookie And, uh, do I have my Quick Balls? Or, like, how do I... I don't have any Pokeballs yet. Mom gave us some money, though, so... Should be able to buy some. Uh, we do actually have five Pokeballs, so it looks like, since this is the first catchable thing that we can get, I've got to catch it. So, uh, little Owl Boy is about to... About to join the team. He's going to leer at us. And uh, I don't know how this thing ever closes its eyes, but we're not going to ask questions. We're just going to pound it one more time. And then toss some balls at it. I do actually like how the backgrounds are looking so far. I have seen a lot of stuff that um, people are unhappy with how the battle scene backgrounds look, but I'm thinking these graphics are amazing. We're going to go ahead and toss a ball right at you. And hopefully we can catch this thing on our first Pokeball. It'll be my first encounter. You shall be my friend forever. And we do catch it. That was actually a really long pause between the last shake and the tick. But we got ourselves a Rookidy. Got ourselves some experience as well. Now, the EXP share is always on, which is something to note, which is kind of controversial, but I don't really mind it. We are going to give you a nickname. Uh, this thing definitely reminds me of, like, the freaking how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. So, guess what? We're naming you Tootsie. Just because, why not? I have zero nicknames planned for this, so we're just gonna, we're just kind of gonna roll with it. So uh, let's actually take a look at this thing. I do like how you can see the Pokemon before you run into it. Like we saw that squirrel just briefly over there. But anyway, uh, this is gonna have Unnerve. It is just pure flying type. Peck and Leer. It is gonna be sassy nature. So interesting. Well, we're going to avoid that squirrel. I don't believe I want to catch one of those. Hold up. What was this? Uh, so you can find Pokemon that are running around, but also 
you can just run into them randomly, which is rather interesting. We are going to leave Sobble in front for a while, though. Our boy Dexter needs to get a little bit more love before we, uh, before we kind of spread it. Anyway, we have a Pokeball here. It is going to be a Potion. We did not use the initial ones. Also, we can run into this Wooloo, and you already know we have to catch the freaking Wooloo. Absolutely never going to pass up a Wooloo. Uh, so level 6, actually not too bad. We are going to go ahead and give you a nice little water gun. See how you like that. Now, Wooloo is something I don't really know too much about. I do know that its evolutions uh, potentially are going to have variants. I do believe I saw some type of screenshot where uh, the evolution of this thing had like some type of pattern. So I'm wondering if we'll be able to kind of customize this thing. I literally have no clue. And that is what's making this Let's Play so great. I'm seriously just kind of uh, going with the flow here. We're going to toss a ball at you. What do we nickname a Wooloo? It's got to be cuddly. It's got to be fitting. We are going to catch it. Very nice. Wooloo was one of the first Pokemon we were introduced to uh, early on. And from the start, everybody knew they had to get a Wooloo. Uh, Dexter is going to learn Bind, which is cool. Tootsie grows to level 5, learns Power Trip, which is an interesting early, early move to learn. Uh, we are going to give you a nickname. And uh, we are going to name you... You're going to be Snowball. Let me go ahead and say, for obvious reasons, you are now my Snowball. I love it. All right. Added to the party, the team is ever-growing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at this thing as well. we gotta, we got to make sure we're getting a good look at everything. Um, it's actually interesting. You can just click Restore, too. That's pretty sweet. So, checking this thing out. It does have Runaway, which is kind of cool. Um, also, if we hit X on this screen, I believe this shows EVs. And also, is that... Yeah, just, just, just stats. Interesting. Well, it's going to be Hasty Nature. We got ourselves a Snowball. We'll probably get Sobble to around level 10. Um, I do like how they make it so you can avoid the wild Pokemon as well. What if I found a Shiny right in the beginning? We got ourselves two Paralyzed Heals. And it does actually show you what the Paralyzed... What the items do which is kind of cool they give you a little text box very interesting i don't think there's anything different in these routes oh okay never mind you could not avoid that one just the freaking squirrels i think so far we can only get the birds these damn squirrels and wooloo here um, but all new pokemon we have not seen any uh, previous gen things yet i am going to try to use as many new pokemon as possible just a little heads up uh, so these guys are just going to spawn out of nowhere this guy's just, Charizard's just hanging out here, huh? Okay. What's going on over here? Hello, Willu. Please let me... I wish they could... You could freaking pet it. Oh, I did not mean to talk to you again. What's up, buddy? Just remember that... What this sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon Lab. On the opposite side is the station. Cool. So we're just going to head right to the objective. This town is looking pretty cool. we got a market over there. People seem to be pretty friendly. My Willu simply loves the Pokemon Center. Come along, Willu. You're perfectly healed. Uh, we were looking at the Pokemon Center earlier. Um, that was not the one. We're supposed to go to the lab. Do not say the red roof. Is it? Was he talking about? What's going on here? This is definitely where we we're supposed to go. Initially, in the beginning, I was looking at the Pokemon Center. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. Charizard comes stomping on up. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown. And thanks to having Pokemon with you. I'm sure, I'm sure glad I got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. Charizard's got to give us the Grar, and uh, we're about to see... Ooh, look at all the books. This man is well-read. Got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bow Wark. Hold up. We've got to see the elephant thing. Please don't... Nope. Oh, my God, yes. It is the goodest boy in all of the land. The Yamper. Uh, so this is a Pokemon that was revealed to us, so this is not something new we're seeing. But Yamper is amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon which he'd stop with these outlanders requests she has no business looking this good hold up good to see you too Yamper Yamper here's a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around he came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day yeah that's his trainer Sonia what can I say about Sonia well I like the way she cooks she makes food you can gobble down in a flash kind of introduction is that? Didn't you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? 
wasn't just Yamper helping you out, I did too. Ye old Yamper. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This man chose his assistant well. We approve. This is Hayden. New Pokemon trainer? Set him on the right path, would you? Man, Lee's really just taking us under his wing. How many people get the champion just showing you around? Also, what the, we got the weirdest beanie in the world, but I kind of dig it. What does he think I am? Oh, he's got his head in the clouds. No wonder he's he gets lost all the time. Looks like he got a Rotom phone. I sure do. Can we just, like, download the Pokedex app in this bad boy? Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon get lost, gets lost too. When I first saw that there was going to be a Rotom phone in this game, I was kind of bummed out because I really did hate the Rotom decks uh, in Sword and Shield, but... I don't think it's going to be too bad. Well said. In that case, I'll make... Make it so you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. So we just basically said yes to that. We don't need much of an introduction. Uh, we do get the Pokedex. Just so you know, the Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know you received the Pokedex? Lives in the house down along Route 2. Cool. Uh, so not really much else for us to do here. But, uh, ooh, we got some we got some graphs going. Pretty high-tech stuff. We are going to head up, the, up here just because we can. There's like a nice little greenhouse thing going on over there. But it's looking like that's really all there is. On the gigantification of Pokemon. While the general principle holds that Pokemon grow stronger and larger by evolving, it is also true in sim that simply making oneself appear larger is another survival strategy with merit. Is it different if we click around anywhere? What is the Dynamax phenomenon? This phenomenon, in which Pokemon take gigantic forms, has only been observed in the Gala region. Moreover, only seems to occur in specific locations and under set conditions. Cool. Well, we're not going to spend too much time reading books, because we got... Some Pokemon stuff to do. I want to catch that Yamper. I'm going to steal your land, your Yamper one of these days. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you got a Pokedex, yeah? Love taking new trainers and giving them useful stuff. What a nice guy. He's going to hand us some air, and it turns out to be a potion. Uh, so we've got a nice little stack of potions going so far. Use them in your Pokemon's HP. Yep, it gets low. HP is like a Pokemon stamina. You can even use potions during a battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Will do. I will say that we're not going to, I'm going to definitely try to explore around a fair bit, but I'm relatively impatient when it comes to these, when, when it comes to games, especially when it's new, I kind of like to just get going with the progress because I'm freaking antsy, but we will, we will look around a fair bit. We're going to, we're going to keep it slow. But if Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at a home down far end of Route 2. So nice little, uh. Nice little studio house condo thing you got going there. Nice. Also, can we go? Nope, cannot go that way. All right, so Hop is hanging out over here. What's up, buddy? Got your Pokedex from Sonya. Sure did. It is time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Now we're going to get introduced to the Pokemon Center, I assume. Luckily, we got a Pokemon Center. Yep, we sure do. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Hayden. But you've never been inside one. Now, I am actually interested to see how the Pokemon Center looks. Um, there's probably going to be some different quality of life changes. We do have access to the Marts. Um, what is that over to the, le to the left? Well, hold up, hold up. Level with me, Hayden. Is this your first time at a Pokemon Center? It sure is, buddy. Then the future of the champions got you, future champions got you covered. She is upgraded. It is almost 2020. The technology has greatly improved for our, our nurse friend here. Also, hold up. Look at that PC right there. There's a Rotom sleeping there. What is that? It's a weird-ass looking Rotom. All right, first things first, talk to the lady at the counter if you want your Pokemon healed up. We also have the computer. You can only bring six Pokemon with you on the road in your party. I do believe that we can actually access the PC from anywhere. That's something we still have to figure out. Potion they sell at the Pokemon Mart got me out, uh, out of a real tough spot the other day. You two kids are Pokemon trainers. You might want to buy some potions before you head out. Dude, listen. I have so many. Heading to Route 2. Hayden, come find me, maybe, when you're done here. Cool, so he is heading out. We're going to talk to the man with the goatee. What's going on here, buddy? Hold up, he has a new Pokemon right behind him. What is that thing? Got some Pokemon questions. Rate a nickname, remember a move, forget a move. Oh my Jesus. We can actually change our nicknames. There's a move relearner and a move deleter in every Pokemon Center. That is... Amazing. We're also going to take a look inside of the PC just to kind of see what the interface is looking like. Uh, you can keep extra Pokemon in your Pokemon boxes. Yep, we are familiar. 
and it's looking pretty standard. We're just gonna kind of keep everything how it is at the moment. Uh, we're probably gonna get rid of Meowth, but for now we're just gonna work with what we got. Also, we need to see the animation for healing up. Ooh. Not even bad. That looks pretty nice. Thanks for waiting. Sobble and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Cool. The Rotom actually wakes up, which is interesting. Poor Rotom, man. This thing was like, I just want to be a Pokemon, and then all of a sudden, that little lad got put to work. <laughs> Month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Hmm, you want me to tell you your fortune, too? Yeah, sure. In that case, you can tell me the month you were born. Um, actually, November. So this month. I need to know what day you were born. I was born on November 7th. My birthday was actually not too long ago. I got it. So your birthday is 1107. Sure is. Since you're born 1107, your fortune is... Let's see here. What's this stain here? It must be from my snack. Page is smudged and I can't really read it. Well, what the hell, lady? People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. Might even run into a legendary Pokemon, or maybe not. Or you might not. Well, that was about useless as hell. Anyway, continuing... We got a couple of old ladies. If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. In the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up, and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. Can't imagine a life without Pokemon. You know, me either, lady. What's going on here? Berries. You got your fresh-picked berries. What do you say? Interested in something? Uh, so we can actually buy some berries here. We're going to grab a couple orange berries. And the reason for that is, early on, attaching orange berries is actually pretty damn useful. Uh, Petra Berries recover from poisoning on its own. Cherry Berry uh, recovers from paralysis. But for now, we're just going to do Orange Berry. It's going to give us 10 HP. And you know what? Let's actually... Oh, hold up. We got the freaking Pokedex now. So, not a whole lot. Um, obviously, filled out yet. But that's pretty sweet. We got ourselves the, got ourselves the decks. Let's go ahead and hop into the Pokemon here. We are going to give you a Held item. Let's give you an Orange Berry. Why not? Berries all around. We do have um, a berry pocket. You can use an orange berry. Wait, not, uh, give to Pokemon, not use. Now hold in the orange berry. That's going to help us out early on in battle. We're also going to give one to Snowball as well because you are the best little snowball ever. And you deserve a nice little snack. Also, we're going to give one to Tootsie. Might as well. Really not that necessary that I'm doing this, but it's just going to kind of save me some time later when I would need to use a potion. 10 HP is really nothing, but early on it's going to it's gonna be great. All right. Back to business. What do we have here, ladies and gents? We have the clothing store. And this is actually something that I was really looking forward to. You can customize your trainer, and we are about to get swagged out. Maybe not right now because we don't really have any money, but... We can grab ourselves a loose black top. We might have to just hold off. I don't really want to spend my money early on. We're not going to... Ooh, hold up. I might need to grab a hoodie, though. I kind of want to grab a hoodie. We got pants. We can change our socks, which seems pretty useless. $350 for some socks. My God. Also, it can change the kicks. Not a whole lot of fresh stuff. I'm assuming we're not going to get access to too much cool stuff. This bag is hideous, though. What? Got a damn duffel bag on my back, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> look at this. Look at this cap. Hello? We do not want the scally caps. These are. Them boys is butt ugly. Okay, we got a knit cap, which is what we're actually working with already. Can change it to black. Uh, but like I said, I'm essentially just going to save my money. I also can switch up the glasses as well. Just kind of cool to see what we have access to. Next up, we have some gloves. You never know when it's going to get a little chilly out there. We're done shopping for now. Not going to spend any money yet. We're going to go ahead and stack some uh, stack some cheddar before we mess with that too much. Anyway, continuing. We are going to head north up to Route 2, where our boy Hop is waiting for us. Listen, Hayden, I've been thinking. You're a Pokemon trainer now. You must want to try to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Uh, obviously, the gym challenge. Annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is what you've got to be in you got to be endorsed if you want to take part. Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she can help. you got to take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger, after all. Keeps you motivated, right? Professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit along the way. So we are going to be able to add some members to the team as well, which is fantastic. And uh, we are first going to head into this house. It seems like this is going to be something important. What's up, guy? Just sitting watching nothing on the TV, huh? Sonya and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... Ooh, it went sour at some point, but you don't want to tell us. 
Remember, he would always go out all go all out. All right. Well, literally nothing going on in here. Why? Why is this house here? This gentleman is showing the little kids his Wooloo. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Uh, obviously. That, redundant. Okay. What are you looking at, guy? You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. So that's where we're headed. It looks like it's a pretty long journey uh, to get over there. So let's head down the old stairs. I really kind of feel like I wish I could control the camera. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Here we are on Route 2. Hop is waiting for us. Over here. We are going to get access to some new stuff, I would assume. All right, Hayden. It's time we filled our teams a bit. Oh, freaking Leon's just following right behind us. You need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. I already got Pokemon, bruh. Only, look at you, Hayden. You've already caught some on your own. Your mom gave you those Pokeballs, did she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. I was going to say I should have bought some more balls while I was at the Poke Center. But our boy Lee is going to hit us with 20, so we are set up on that. They really want you to get some stuff early on. And I'm feeling it, guys. We're going to get a shiny Pokemon <laughs> right here. How amazing would that be? I'm, I'm just going to have to call it, because if it does happen, I can say, I, I told you. All right. So he's going to just Naruto run on out of here. All right, I'm going to catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Nice. All right. I really keep finding myself trying to use the right stick to change the camera angle. And hold up, what the hell is this thing? This is a fox boy? I have never seen this before. A Nicket. Alright. So we've got ourselves a Nicket. I do not know what this thing is. I'm going to assume that it's just a water type. Uh, it's also level 7, which is great. can be added to the team real quick. We're going to give you a nice little water gun. Sobble. Giving him the business. And it's going to tail whip us. So. I'm they're playing probably just a normal type. Looks like it has potential to evolve into something freaking sweet, though. And I like foxes. So guess what? We we have to catch this thing. Man, the hardest part about this Let's Play is finding out what I want to use on my team. I haven't really planned anything out. So it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be interesting. Anyway, let's hop into the bag. We are just going to huck a ball right at you, buddy. We got 23 of these bad boys. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. And we got it. So we've caught everything first try so far. Which is nice. Pokemon gonna get some experience. Everybody spreading the love. There you go, Tootsie. Alright, so let's take a look at this thing. And the old Pokedex. Aided by the soft pads on its feet. Oh, it's dark type. It silently raids the food stores of other Pokemon. It survives off its ill-gotten gains. <laughs> so that's actually pretty cool. Dark type... Uh, Fox, we have to name this thing Swiper, right? That's pretty much pretty much a given. Swiper no swiping, just straight up stealing Pokemon's food. Nice, I actually really like this thing a lot. Let's take a look. We are going to check the old summary. Um, so, it has Unburden, boost the speed stat if the Pokemon's hold item is used or lost, which is really nice. It has Quick Attack, Tail Whip, and Beat Up. Um, so the more Pokemon you have in your party, the more hits. So if you have six Pokemon and use beat up, it's going to hit six times. And that's actually going to be pretty damn nice. We are going to go ahead and uh, let's restore this bad boy. Because we're not actually going to use an orange berry. We're just going to use a Reggie Potion. Get you back up to full Swiper. Because guess what, friend? We're going to put you in front. I did say I was going to get Dexter up to level 10 first. But we're putting, we're putting Swiper up there. We got it. All right. Doesn't look like anything new so far. Just essentially the fox lad. And then other than that, a bunch of squirrels and uh, one of them owls. So we're just going to head right through. And this guy just freaking teleported out of nowhere. Hold up. We got ourselves our first trainer battle, it looks like. And this little nerd is about to get beat up. And we're taking your lunch money, too. What the hell is happening? Oh, he's getting into the power stance. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Nice. So... Youngster Jake here. Wonder if he's gonna have anything. Okay, no, he's just gonna he's just gonna have the basic squirrel. Of course he is. Top percentage basic squirrel. And uh, level six. So let's go ahead and see. And it actually does tell you effective on. Uh, so I'm assuming they're making things really easy on you. If you have something super effective, it'll let you know. 
which uh, is definitely good for new players. Learning type matchup matchups is definitely something uh, that does take a bit of time getting used to. So we are going to hit five times since we have five Pokemon. So he's going to go ahead and use Tackle. And Swiper is going to take a lot of damage. You know what? This is taking a little bit long. So guess what? We're sending right on out Dexter, who is level nine. We'll get to ten in no time. I'm also super excited to see what freaking Sable evolves into. There is just so much to take in right now. I, I, I can't believe we're really playing. We have waited so damn long. All right, Tail Whip, that's fine. Because guess what, Skillvit? You about to drown, boy. Hope you can swim. All right, two water guns. Easily going to do it. Going to wag its tail at me one more time. This thing looks really familiar, and I think it's it's got to be like some Happy Tree Friends-ass looking thing. That's probably why this thing looks so familiar. I don't know. But, you did. So, our first trainer battle. A little bit underwhelming. Also, we're getting a lot of experience, too. The whole team is growing quite nicely. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Well, maybe you shouldn't do that, buddy. Go ahead and look away, then. Unless you want to catch these hands one more time. Anyway, we will run into another Pokemon here just to see if it's something crazy. And it is the Sea Dots. Just kidding. Definitely not what I thought, but it's fine. Right, we're going to run from this thing. Yo, unburden ability on this thing would be really nice. If I put a berry on it and we use it... Right, we like double our speed, which is great. This freaking bird's coming right for me. We are going to grab this Pokeball, of course. And two more potions. We all, we'll, we'll take it. Also, we can hop down this here ledge. Freaking hardcore parkour. And what in the hell is this thing? Hold up. You're orange? Oh my god, it's a Chewtle. I have never seen this thing, but I'm going to assume that it evolves into Dreadnought, which we have seen. So, we got to catch the turtle. I freaking love turtles. I like totals. Okay, beat up's not really going to do shit, but it is going to hit six times, which is cool. I think this thing's actually probably pretty defensive, too. So, actually going to hit five times. Just kidding. Hit five times because we only have five. That was... Uh, I was just kidding. False alarm. All right. Um, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just go ahead and... We're going to beat up one more time. We'll at least get it to, like, half. Honestly, if we just huck a Pokeball at this thing, we'd probably still be able to catch it. I really don't want to go through another beat up. So, we're just going to go ahead and test our luck. After one more, is that gonna gonna get it like directly above half, which is heckin' annoying. It's like why I should not have even bothered beating it up. I'm sorry. This thing kind of looks dumb. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's not <laughs> not the coolest looking little turtle, but it's something new, and it is my goal in this let's play to try to catch as many new things as possible. So we're just gonna be out here filling out the decks. And also, one thing to notice is that it's looking like the uh, wild battle backgrounds are environmental to where you are. We see that purple house in the background, which is kind of where we're headed. Uh, but we caught ourselves a turtle, and it is time to see what the hell this thing's all about. Bust out the Pokedex. Apparently, the itch of its teething impels it to snap its jaws at anything in front of it. So it's just a pure water type, uh, which is cool. We're getting a little diversity on the old team. Um, we are going to name you... I was going to name you Sheldon, but you can be Shelton. With a T, because why the hell not? <laughs> it is going to be added to the party, which is going to fill up our last slot. Let's take a look at this thing, just because we are definitely obligated to. Here we have young Shelton. Check the old summary. It has strong jaw. Pokemon strong jaw boosts the power of its biting moves, which is great. It has tackle and water gun. Going to assume that we learn bite relatively soon. It is relaxed nature. So... I didn't realize the fox was impish nature as well. We didn't check that. But now we know. All right. Lots of new stuff early on here. Found some more Pokeballs, which is going to replenish the stockpile. And so we can definitely avoid this trainer, but we're going right for it. We could use all the experience. Cute and strong together in combination. Love ourselves some cute and strong. Last Lauren here is going to hit us with a chew tool. So the pointiest head. Do not want to take a headbutt from this thing. We should really just probably have Sobble in front still. Um, but this thing being... I can just pure water type. Really kind of messes up Dexter. What should we do here? Swiper at level 7. We're actually just... We could probably take one attack from this thing. Let's go for a beat up. Now that we have 6, we'll at least be able to hit 6 times. And uh, we, need to, we need to grow some damn levels here. Also, look at my tail. This thing would be effective to use as a broom. Just catch one of these things to just kind of walk around your house all day. Sweep up the old floor. 
All right, six times, not gonna do very much. Yeah, he's gonna hit us with a tackle. Look at them teeth. All right, that's not gonna do much. Well, our beat up is a little bit underwhelming. So therefore, we're switching into Dexter and it is time to pound away. Would be nice to have a grass type or an electric type, but we shall settle for now. We're almost level 10 with Sobble, which is great. Love to see it. All right. You don't just hit you with the pound. We also have bind, but I never really end up using bind, so it's fine. Basically just exchanging tackles and pounds here. And just some real exciting content. One more is going to have to do it. These turtles are pretty damn defensive. Look at the head on this lad, though. Like, my god. It looks like if this thing could talk, it would definitely have a lisp. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> I can, like, totally picture this thing's voice. All right, one more pound is going to do it. Yeet, level 6, Chewtle. Dead as hell. It is cool that it has strong job, though. So it's interesting seeing all these things' abilities. Meowth goes to level 7, Snowball level 7, Swiper level 8, and we learned Hone Claws. Ooh, okay. We already getting this set up. Nice. Are we cute? Nothing more. Looks like our strength still has a ways to go. Got ourselves $504 for winning. Thank you for that. Time to continue. So there is another trainer here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and stick Sobble right back to the front. Uh, Swiper is level 8 now. But we're just going to save our potions. Also, I'm interested to know if a Pokemon is shiny and it's in the overworld. I'm going to assume that the shiny version pops up. Um, I'm interested to see, is it going to sparkle? What's going on? Also, hold up. This guy's got something new. It's a blip bug. So, our first bug type we've seen. And this thing's got some crazy ass looking eyes. It is only level 5, so we definitely should have just left our fox in front. But it's fine, because Water Gun's just going to oko you. Sorry to do that to you, my little bug friend. Get ourselves some solid experience. Tootsie learned Hone Claws as well. Lots of Hone Claws going on. Next is a Nicket. Um, you know what? Let's actually go. Let's go into Swiper. Let's see how much a beat up's going to do now. We do kind of got to spread the love. The EXP share is definitely doing its job. I should have just used a damn potion on this thing. All right. Nicket v Nicket. I'm level 8. And uh, we can't actually. I, I, for some reason, thought Nicket was. Thought that was. This was a bad call. <laughs> Can I go into the Meowth? Hold up. Let's go into the Meowth real quick. I'm going to switch into Ballin real quick. Let's see. Can I freaking just Gigantamax right from the damn start? I don't think... We probably have to be in an arena. Uh, only for arena battles. I'm going to assume that where you can do them. But no, we can't We can't do anything. We are going to click Fake Out though. Let's see if this Meowth can uh, help us out here. I also wonder if the Gift Meowth can be shiny. Probably cannot. I'm assuming it's shiny locked. I really don't know why they would shiny lock the starter Pokemon. It seems like such a dumb idea. Like people love hunting for the for the shiny starters right off the bat. Like why would why would they do this to us? Well, one more slash is gonna do it. This Meowth is actually pretty damn powerful with Fake Out and Slash. Slash with a high critical hit hit chance is pretty nice, especially early on. All right, youngster Benjamin has effectively cut these hands get ourselves some money and it is time to there's got an, another little arena here which is cool what's going on over here lads look there's the professor what is popping so you've unraveled all the secrets of dynamax phenomenon yet oh goodness no this whole thing is still so full of questions still full of questions hope my grandfather granddaughter would take over my research but this lady old as hell what happened to the granddaughter dear me i'm sorry didn't even notice my guests She's going to cane her way on over. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come on. Or come. Let's head indoors. Alright, we heading on in. Why, Hop dear, I see Wulu has made some new friends. You must be Hayden. Trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. She'll have it complete in no time. Thanks. You know, I appreciate the... I appreciate the support. Professor Magnolia has been doing research into Dy Dy Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. Takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamax into the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types there are. Yeah, of course. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee you should endorse us for the gym challenge. Yes, endorse us, please. I don't know what that means, but please do it. Hop and Hayden, 
only just started his Pokemon trainers. Still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong trainers. Yeah, man. Freaking sponsor us, guy. He already gave us a Pokemon, so I feel like he's essentially endorsed us already. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can sum me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make both make sure both of your teams are in good shape. Alright, so we're about to have our second rival battle, which is nice. We about to get it. Right, so I'll be waiting outside, Hayden. Alright, so he is heading on outside. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end episode here. Next time, we're going to see what Hop has got in store for us. I'm assuming he's got some cool new stuff. And also, there has got to be a Harry Potter living in this little, this little cubby. Who knows? Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.